Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream. As you guys may or may not know, I have two other channels, Fox Boss 9 and Lebo View. On those channels I have reviews of products and I also have repairs. Now most of my RV repairs are now done on this channel. However, there were quite a few repairs and items that I reviewed for RVs on my other channels previous. So what I'm going to do with you now is share with you one of those videos. I've been Riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out Lebo View. We're outside today because we're doing some items again on the camper, but it's also gorgeous outside. Look at the clouds. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Uh, we actually had a rainbow yesterday. All right, enough of the scenery. Let's get back to what's important. Today I'm gonna to talk about uh, a couple things I picked up from my camper and uh, I think you'll like them. Uh, they're a, a sewer hose kit and the uh, sidewinder that actually keeps the sewer hose at the level it needs to be at. Uh, so let's take a look at both of those items. All right, what we're looking at is the RhinoFlex RV sewer hose kit. Uh, it comes with a connector that goes, uh, of course, to your uh, dump on your travel trailer into this semi-rigid, flexible, collapsible hose. And then, of course, another connector into a translucent elbow that you can kind of see what you're dumping. And then this bayonet. I'm going to show you a couple of things you need to look at when you first get it. All right, so we're back at the camper. And you can see it's a standard square tube like everybody has. Uh, pull the plug out. This is the four and a quarter by four and a quarter. And this is the hose. So we'll go ahead and pull this out. You can see there's a, a cap that's on there to keep it from uh, dripping. And uh, then the hose itself. And then on the other end, the business end that connects to the camper, there's also a connector to keep it from dripping. So let's drag this over and take a look at it. Okay, so we drug it out of the camper and here's what we have. Uh, you have these lock connectors and there's tabs on here. It says turn to tighten and of course you have the elbow. Now when you get it, this bayonet's already attached to this connector and I've backed this off and taken it off and that's the only way that it'll fit inside the uh, four and a quarter inch square tube bumper that's on the RV. However, this isn't an issue to put back on. It's very easy. You just put it on and it twists and it's done and there's a real nice seal that's on here. Now, I'm not gonna open this up because we actually did some camping and I don't like to handle this stuff. Uh, any more than I have to. But I will have to say that whenever you get it, there's a note that comes with the packaging. And it says, important note. And basically all it's saying is, is to loosen this connector up. You can see it's got cogs on it. Um, loosen this connector up, extend the hose, and then twist it up into this orange connector as far as possible. This is threaded, it's ribbed right here twist it up as far as possible and then once it's in there go ahead and lock it up tighten it up and lock it in now I had to look down inside mine when I first got it and I noticed that one of these where it was cut off was kind of flapping out in the area in which everything passes so I clipped that off so it doesn't catch the random piece of tissue paper or whatever may come through this now I will have to say that I really like this hose because of its rigidity and it's kind of cool because it's uh, it'll hold position um, and we're in the sunlight right now and it's it's pretty warm to touch it doesn't loosen up much whenever the heat really comes on to it um, but it's a, a real nice material I really like it the connections are nice the seals are nice when you get it you can tell that they took good care to make sure that this was going to seal off nicely because there's a a liberal amount of gel that's on here to help with the sealing and uh, the uh, connector to be tightened on it. Um, once it's locked in then you don't have to worry about it. So let's go into the other item now. Again the links down below for this. We're also going to take a look at this sewer hose support. Uh, this is uh, also uh, made by Camco and this is uh, called a Sidewinder and this fits a 15 foot hose which is what the uh, sewer hoses that I have. Okay, you can see here, this is your standard type of uh, sewer hose support. Uh, it's in graduated sizes. Uh, of course, the biggest goes to the camper, and then you go ahead and spread this out, which it's all hinged. There's little hinges here to keep all these together, but yet 
allow them to expand and this will stretch out for a 15 foot hose what i like is this carrier there's nothing fancy about it, it just goes underneath and keeps it from you know falling out in that um, I like it because it's real easy to clip back in. Uh, the other thing is, is I have a small trunk that's on the back of my camper, and this will fit in there, no problem. The opening has to be very minimal for it to fit into. Well, there you go. I went ahead and did a review on two items that you could use for your camper. Every camper that has a septic system on it needs those items. And with this hose, you can also buy extra lengths. Uh, it's going to go ahead and get to the longer areas that you need to get to and it's just a good item all the way around uh, I like the way that it feels. I like the material. I like the mill thickness of the plastic It feels like it's very durable and the flow is really good because of that rigidity Basically if you have an area, it's kind of dead You can slide that hose and collapse it tight together and it'll take care of it It'll make it basically like more of a solid hose a smooth sided hose so click the links down below. It's going to take you to the products, and I appreciate it as always watching Lebo View. Thanks.